A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all on this Sunday in the May, in the month of May 2017, in my beloved country, in the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Well, in this fourth video, I will be continuing on the series the rapture teaching, the rapture doctrine is false. This would be part four, brothers and sisters. This would be a 10 minutes or a 12 minutes video. So I hope in this video I'll be able to cover a lot of things that I didn't, a lot of grounds that I did not cover, I went over in part one, part two, and in part three. Without further ado, without further ado, let us get into the meat of the matter as they say. Well, the rapture doctrine is that they teach that the saints of God will be caught away, secretly vanish off of this earth, and they will go up in heaven and spend seven years, and at the other end of the seven years, they will return with Jesus Christ back to the earth for him to establish the kingdom of God upon the earth. Brothers and sisters, that teaching is ridiculous and absurd. First, brothers and sisters, for all the according to arguments, for, let me show you an example. That cannot happen, brothers, because for all the saints of God to vanish off of this earth without, un without any ungodly people witnessing when they vanish, all the saints of God in each nation of the earth have to be in the forest in a secret location. But, all, but we know that all the saints of God are not in the forest all over the world. The saints of God are among civilization. And when will that rapture take place? In the night time or in the daytime? Keep in mind that all the saints have to vanish at the same time. So let us, as, as according to the false teaching, if the rapture take place in the daytime, all the saints of God is among civilization, among the population. The ungodly people must see when the saints of God vanish. As long as one ungodly people see any of the saints vanish, then it will not be secret again, brothers and sisters. So you see, that teaching is false. But I know a lot of you all did not was not seeing it that way, but because you all was blind to that truth. But since I'm using this classic example, God will open all your mind to grasp that reality to show you all that that teaching is total false. Now, for argument's sake, to show you all the ridiculousness and the absurdity of that false teaching doctrine, now for all the saints of God to vanish without any ungodly people, unsafe people witnessing any of the saints vanish these millions of people in each country all of them have to be at the, in the forest for that to happen whether in the day or in the night time and we know that will not happen because the saints of god amongst the population amongst the ungodly people brothers and sisters but i know a lot of you all was not looking at that because you all was blind to that truth, blind to that reality. Because you all accept what all the pastor tell all you, what all the deacon tell all you, what all the bishop tell all you, what all the prophetess tell you, what all the prophets and those in the five ministry tell all the, the, the evangelists who embrace that false teaching over the years and currently now in Christianity. Those who had the PhD and the ME and the bachelor degree from the prestige Bible College that then and seminary in theology and the doctor of divinity I'm not against none of these degrees I wish a lot of Christian attend Bible College and attend all these degrees but having the truth of God I have none of these prestige qualification but I have the truth of God the word of God the Bible from Genesis to Revelation I know they have it too with all the seminary and degree they have, with all the PhD and bachelor degree and college degree they have, they attend Bible school. I know they have the Bible that says me from Genesis to Revelation, but it's to understand it and to have the true understanding what is contained in the Bible is important. And the only one to reveal a true understanding to each human being upon this is the author of that book, which is Jesus Christ and our Lord and Heavenly Father, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So I don't believe in the rapture teaching, not only me, but millions of saints do not believe, Christians do not believe in the rapture teaching and the rapture doctrine. 
No brothers and sisters, the saints of God would not be caught away for no seven years to go up to heaven to spend that time with Jesus Christ. And then at the end of the seven years, they will return back to Christ, back to the earth with Jesus Christ and the like holy angels. No, within the seven years period, the great tribulation, the saints of God will be right here on the earth. God will preserve them and keep them and they will go through the tribulation till the coming of Jesus Christ. Yes, brothers and sisters, God will God will protect the saints. God will protect the saints. Brothers and sisters. And if any of the saints die within the tribulation, because we know we will be persecuted left, right, and center, then they die in Jesus Christ. When he comes, they will be resurrected. So he's not taking no saints like all the saints and making them vanish off of the earth to go in no heaven above at the throne of God to spend no seven years or three years or seven years to return back to the earth. That teaching is false. That teaching is ridiculous and absurd, brothers and sisters. But I know a lot of you all who already embrace that teaching will say, who is this Christian boy using these examples? Foolish examples. You all is to term these examples foolish examples. Who is he that is using these examples to, this, to, to, to speak to us and to tell us and to convince us that that doctrine of the rapture theory is false? It is not true. Who is this Christian boy, Eric Braxton? Well, this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, little Christian child, is a true teacher of God from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, brothers and sisters. If I, when I read something in the scriptures that I don't understand, I leave it there, I pray for the understanding, brothers and sisters. And everything that I'm speaking to you all is the truth. I did not set out to mislead no one to put no one on the wrong direction because I point men to Christ and point men to the truth because I of myself cannot save no one. Well, brothers and sisters, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton once again speaking to you all from, the, from his native country, his native land, the land of his nativity, his nativity the land of his birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country, this is a blue Caribbean sea concerning the rapture, teaching the rapture doctrine. Well, this is video four, part four in that series. Well, as I said, this will be a short video. In this video, I will not be able to cover everything, but so I will have to make a few other parts, maybe after part 8, to cover all these grounds that I need to cover, brothers and sisters. Now, all these videos will be posted on the internet as soon as possible, so that you all can watch these videos, and I pray and hope that you all appreciate everything that is said in this video. You all can download it in all your flash drive, in all your computer, in all your tablets, in all your phone, and keep it on all the file you all hold her rights all rights to copy the video and to spread the message but do not sell the video and all the copy that will be piracy all my videos are put in the public domain for all and sundry these are teaching tips concerning the word of god brothers and sisters brothers and sisters brothers and sisters brothers and sisters beloved in christ and outside the body of christ well i said this will be a short video so in this video i will not have much to say the other things that i need to say concerning that rapture theory will be in part five part six part seven and part eight so look out for these videos on the internet i hope that you all um search for it and acquire all the parts and keep it brothers and sisters so from time to time you all can revisit it and refresh all your heart, mind, and soul concern everything that is said in each of the videos. So I pray by the hope of God that our Heavenly Father and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, reveal the true understanding to you all that He is using me to give to you all, brothers and sisters. If you all discard each of these videos and discard it and say it's a pack of nonsense that I'm speaking, what I'm speaking is false, the rapture theory is true. Um, you all still embrace, keep on to embrace and hold and cherish that false doctrine, teaching within all your heart, mind and soul. Each of you all out there are doing a great injustice to all yourself. And I do not want that to happen. I want you all to have the truth, for the truth shall set us free. Yes, brothers and sisters, for whosoever, have, for whosoever ever the Son of Man set free, he is free indeed. And I want you all to have the truth, not holding on to falsehood, brothers and sisters. We know, we know, we know the enemy of our life and God, he wants us to hold on to falsehood, but God wants us to hold on to the truth. But, but before Lucifer and all his angels become the enemy, 
they also was holding on to the truth of God. They had the truth of God. That time there was not rebellion against God. But now they're gone against God. They don't want us to have the truth. They want us to have to hold on to falsehood. So you see the contradiction that, that they are indulging in. I mean Lucifer and his angels. Having said that, let us come back to the meat of the matter. So brothers and sisters, was happy for me to join you all. Brothers and sisters, those who accept Christ, keep on walking in the footsteps of Christ, keep on preaching the gospel of the gospel of the kingdom of God. Those who have next accept Christ, make that decision today and accept Christ as a personal Lord and Savior of your life. Of your life. And look for a Bible believing church that observes Saturday as a Sabbath day and fellowship with the saints of God. Study his Bible from Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, brothers and sisters, and serve God in spirit and truth. So when we come back to the earth very soon, with all the like holy angels as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, to stuff with his divine feet and the like holy angels, his divine feet will touch at the Mount of Olive that he ascended 2,000 years ago back to heaven. He will enter the, his holy city, Jerusalem, to sit upon the throne of David with that wonderful rod of iron, symbolizing his divine authority to rule over mankind in true holy, righteous rulership over mankind, truly bringing peace to the world and harmony and tranquility to the world, where the whole of humankind, not only to the Jews and the Arab nation living in peace, but the whole humanity, mankind living in true peace and love and respect for one another in the divine government, the divine kingdom of God, under the divine holy righteous rulership of God, under the holy good rulership of God, under the righteous pure rulership of Jesus Christ, and the love of God in the divine kingdom government of God that he is coming to establish upon the earth, that can only bring true peace and security for the whole of humanity and posterity forever and ever. In the divine kingdom, government of God, that is coming to establish upon this earth very soon. Soon, so the peace of God, of our Lord and our Savior and our, G and of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father, be with me, Eric Braxton, and my family and your family and all who, those who watch this video on YouTube, the internet, from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon.